of the top. The best things in life are free, so why not subscribe to me? Oh yeah! Hello guys, welcome to my new video. I can't believe it, I'm on video number four already. So if you're watching this in a different order, then I apologise, this is not normally my regular style. See, normally I like to dress around and dance about like a lunatic. So I'm gonna chill it down a bit today and actually focus on um, my art. So I've had a lot of questions on the YouTube. Well, most of my mates have just said like, how have you done this? So I'm gonna tell you like a bit more of my process. And I've also got something to show you as well. So um, this is the iPad, so you might have heard me mentioning that I'm going to save up for one of these and this is what I'm doing all the videos on. So the video you're watching now is actually being done on this, so you know it's a little spooky, so we're stepping into the twilight zone here where normal things don't happen very often. But anyway, back to it. So obviously I draw on this with my Apple Pen, which I've left upstairs. And yeah, which I've left. <laughs> so let's go, let's get straight to it. I heard a while ago about people with um, autism have different perspectives to their mind, to their actual bodily functions. Like a lot of dyspraxia and stuff like that, it, the body doesn't quite do what the brain wants it to do. So as a result in my art, I've kind of done a lot of things out of proportion. So in my head they've seemed right, but I would have given them people like longer toes or longer arms or their arms don't quite kind of match the body. So a lot of people say it's a design choice, but sometimes it kind of is and also it isn't. My, to, to help with my drawing and obviously get the proportions right to keep it to the standard that I want to show you guys I bought these. So these are mannequins and uh, you've probably seen them before where um, they're posable figures that like help you learn body portions so if you have a look at the back you can see like this kind of style where it's like obviously the woman and posing as well with the guns like, and then you just draw from him my friend LJ told me it's better to draw from reference, so and, and, and he's right really, because I really think I've improved, so I'll show you some of my older stuff. And now I'll show you some of my newer stuff. So how do these work? Well, we'll see, because obviously I'm still learning myself, because I've only had this pad for about a couple of months now, so let's um, let, let's take a trip down Artist Lane. Do, 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 do. Ryan, let's have a look at this box then. So this is the um, Mike Mannequin. So let's open it up and have a look inside all these bits. So they're quite fun, because you can pose them all into different positions, as you can see on the back of the box. But let's see what's inside. I had to... Um, get like a different coloured one so I could um, see the difference between them two when I put them together I'll oh, check these out so I've got like a sword here and hey look what's that hey is that an iPad hey there's my iPad not that good so you got some guns as well so I can do some action scenes and uh, yeah like a little laptop so that's going to be fun to build but the sword that's going to be a nice touch because I'm going to use that for another video I'm going to take her out so we can have a little play there we go Trying to be careful because these they do feel a bit delicate, but that's because um, you can really move them smoothly. Look, check that out. Look. Neck muscles, fist upon your brutal fist. Pull it down, fight the power. Let's try and get her into like a Spider Gwen pose. So, as she's landing, they're like, way. <laughs> you can bend the legs a little bit as well. So, it's good you can't bend them all the way, or else that's going to be um, a bit weird, isn't it, on the legs? So, lift her up, push her around. Let's see. Nice curvature on the back. The joints are a bit small, but I guess you can as you take them apart. But let's have a look. I think she can stand on herself. Yeah, you go. Stands all by herself. Watch this out. Oh, oh, balance, balance. Have we got it? We got, it? we got it. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's it. 
let's put her to one side and have a look inside the rest. So these are all the different hands you can get. So it's got like jazz hands, <laughs> fist bumps and awesome. Oh yeah, look, check this out. Got the finger bang ones. And this is a case, I'm guessing, to... What are these? I'm not quite sure what these are. Oh, oh yeah, I think you could pop them on somehow so you can put them into like superhero poses. Yeah, let's see if I can try and connect this up. I mean, I bet there's people watching this who know what to do, but I'm just going to put this in here just to make it like she can fly. Here we go. Put it in there. Oh, yeah, like, like Gravity Falls. Like, ooh. <laughs> Does that connect on? Well, um, let's, uh, you know what? I'm going to have a look, better look at this in a minute. All right, I'm going to change some of the hands over then. Let's see. See, this connector, <laughs> I did this earlier, it's a little bit small, so it can be very fiddly. So you got to be careful because I'm terrified in case this snaps. Luckily, I've got super glue in the glue gun. Pew, pew, do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, now it's time for the man. Let's see. Um, I'm going to pose him in this position. There you go. <laughs> Let's try and balance him and look at the camera. Like, <laughs> Try and get him into a next position. Try to do a superhero one. Oh, the hand. So once it's on, it's on. You just have to fiddle with it. Let's see. Here we go. I think you know this pose. We found a street fire. Hadouken! Douche, douche, douche. Right now I'm going to show you their purpose. So let's get them into some funky positions so I can um, fiddle about and take some pictures. Try and see if you can guess the character work. So yeah, yeah, you guys see they're not even on like, any points. You can just place them on the table and they'll balance. And then that box, you know, I'm just using it as an accessory box. So you can take it out and about and put them in the park. Yeah, that's an idea, isn't it? I can probably put them next to me and make myself look dead big and then they could be tiny. Little um, Arietti people. Alright, let's take a picture on the pad so it's on here. And then I'll be able to drag and drop it and then start drawing with them. So now it's onto the pad. I'm gonna import it from over there and then try and make it a bit bigger. And we'll go from there and see what I can do. <laughs> now I've posed a few more, so it'll pop up later on in the video. I am going to now show you what I do with these. So I've made a layer and I've made a new one so I can draw over it with my crazy brush. So for the circles, let's bring it down to the chin. And then, I don't know. There you go. So if you just see, I'm just drawing over the lines just to make a rough kind of sketch, and then I can gives me more to work with. But this is a really good program. So this is pretty much the reason I bought the iPad was so I could use this. Called, it's called Procreate, which is quite funny, obviously, because I think it just means to make something in the dictionary. To get some curves here. Yeah, but Procreate is just, it's just so good for like drawing. On to be fair, and with this pen, makes it a lot more easier. So. It's quite hard for me to <laughs> draw and um, like film at the same time. Like my tripod doesn't go to like the best level, so I'm going to um, insert a picture now, and we'll um, draw a better one. So let's see. I've just done this one as a pose. So remember that as it is, and I'm going to work on it, and then we'll um, go from there. There we go, and this is how it's turned out. So I've done like a little bit of different layers to show you my process, because I don't think you wanted to see me do the whole thing. So I drew around, around the guy, and then I took rid of the background, and that's what you're left with. Then I erased it a bit to make it a, like a rough layer. Then I drew over it again with a finer line, and then I've added a bit more detail, bit by bit. And then added a bit of blotchy colour, because I was trying out different styles as well to see. And here we go, and then that's finished. Now you're supposed to use these more for like line of sight and perspectives. So I've just done a little line here to see what direction that she's roughly going to be looking at. And then trying to shape it now, going over my lines and lines and then working at it bit by bit until I see what I've got. Yeah, so erase it to try and make a final line. There you go, so now I can draw over this a bit better. There you go, so just layers after layers. It's like a cake, you know, cake, cakes have layers, you know. Like, <laughs> A little parfait, you know. <laughs>
Now I'm going to try and do a hair a bit. So let's see, and then fix this. Put the eye there. Now it's starting to not look right at the minute, because obviously I've gone from like guessing again to actually really looking at it. So remember when I said earlier you need references. So like I say, I'm just doing odd bits. Now I'm just doing a colour palette as well, because it's easy for me to find. If I just work from these, you can just suck them up and then add it on. I can't really do the colour yet, because the lines aren't quite finished. They're all, they'll just seep out. <laughs> fix it up. Uh, so what I'm going to do about his mouth? I'll tell you what. Tell you, yeah, we'll, we'll find something else. Just, um, I'll just do a rough nose, see if I can fix it. Nope, it's getting worse. Okay, I'll, I'll go get a reference then. <laughs> I mean, though, about how the brain doesn't quite connect its imagery. All right, let's um, go on Google. Um, yeah, so type in the, what I'm after. Woman's face. Woman's face on, on side. Yeah, yeah. I'll search that in. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I found this one. That's the one we're going to use as a reference. So I'm importing it in. I'm going to rotate it so it roughly matches the shape of mine. And I might make a new layer, unless I just drag this one behind and use the same layer. Which I'm, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to drag that under. Oh, there you go. Whoop. So now she's at the back. So I can draw over it and then get rid of it in a second. So just do the rough sketch now. Because the only thing is that these figures don't have quite the facial details. Yeah, it went wrong. Let's get out again. Here we go. See, ooh, a nice line there. This is the part where I love the art when it gets dead close and you get details by details. It's not quite duck lips, is it? There you go. I'll flick there for the eye. Let's back that off. Oh, eyebrow. So I just dragged this in, and then we can fix this up. So look at it. This is the wonders of the digital age. Like, ooh. <laughs> it took me ages to, like, redraw that. Which is kind of a shame, really. But <laughs> what can you do? It is quicker, but sometimes it can be a bit more refined if you can work it a bit by bit. I think that might be my last like line. Let's um, suck up the colour. There you go, and I'll give her tones now. <laughs> Looks like a clown then. <laughs> there you go. Bit of, um, bits in there. Did fingers. Oh, I mean, to be fair, you could have done that and then tried to make it a bit more realistic about an outline. But I like having an outline on my stuff. I like the cartoon style. To the ear. What should we do next? Uh, yeah, let's bring that down a bit and then do a little bit of shine on the nose. Oh yeah, yeah, do white from the background. I do that for the eyes as well. There you go. Hey, let's get in there. Some blotch for the cheek. Is it bl blush? Sorry, blotch. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you got blushy lips, girl. I'm sure she's gonna love that. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Now I've got my airbrush one, this is great, because I use this as a blender or a shader. This is, I only really use two brushes, and it's that comic one, and then this airbrush one. <laughs> I mean, if you put a bit more time and effort into it, you can do some really good, like, tones of this. Um, let's do the hair. I was trying to figure out how I should do this. I should do it curly, wavy. Yeah, I just, just do little circles and 
bit so if you try and do two fine lines like that it doesn't end up going well so i just yeah just put patches in and then work it in with different colors and stuff I mean, to be fair that doesn't look too bad it's kind of like cyberpunky isn't it i might do something like that for my next video yeah. oh yeah let's try and do a different layer so i can do this dress finally cover her up as well. I probably should have done this first and been a gentleman. <laughs> a gentleman. <laughs> oh, I know this looks really bad, like bits of red being splattered on this like woman, but <laughs> don't worry about it. We'll get there. I should have used a different colored dress. There we go, kind of looking like a flamingo now. Yeah, a little bit of a random colours in. Try and blend that in. There you go, now it looks like a dress, right? Doesn't look like she's been cut in half anymore. <laughs> Add a shoulder pad on there. If you keep dobbing it, it will eventually cover the lines up and make it look almost 3D. <laughs> Sorry about the spiderweb looking thing, that's just my hair. I didn't realise how close the camera was because I can't really look behind me and draw. I need like one of those little ones I can clamp to a desk that looks down properly. Oh well anyway, let's uh, give her a background and I think that's about done. One more final airbrush to make it lighter. Mm -hmm. What do you think? the whole drawing I'm just gonna show you the layers I've done so you go yeah I started with that one then I am um, for well, I'll make it a bit more chalky with this one so finish the layers down make it apocalyptic you know rep dress there you go a bit of shading in there and then it's not looking too bad it's already like it as it is and I thought I'd had a bit of color then a bit more scratches on that's what I like about playing about with these because you just come up with more art styles when I mean, check this out Now that one I did earlier, have you guessed what it is yet? <laughs> there you go, giant layers. So that's my base layer, what I did. And then there you go, yeah, Joker and Harley. I'm obviously a big fan of comics and uh, manga and that, so I had to do these two. When I seen them together, I thought, oh, I've got a gun and a guy with jazz hands. Like, well, what are you going to do with that? Eh? Obviously, um, go DC. <laughs> It's all my different layers. I'll show you obviously the colour transitions I did. So I worked on this one bit by bit. This was fun to do. So here it goes. Add them all in. I think that might have been the first one I did. I'll remove that in a sec. There you go. Hey, that's what it looked like. And then this what it looks like with the, um, with the, with the background. Oh, hang on. One second. Let me get rid of that. There you go. Let me get rid of... Where is it? No, it's still there. Oh. <laughs> There you go, hey, there you go, yeah. Well, yeah, the mic mannequins are, I, f I think they're pretty amazing, to be fair. If you can buy more um, accessories in that forum, that will be super cool. And if the company that makes these is watching this, then please send me stuff and then I can do more videos. But I'll definitely do business with you guys in the future because I feel like it's helped a lot. 